Cobra Beer, uh, which is a UK-based company started by Karan Bilimoria, now Lord Karan Bilimoria. He's one of the most charismatic entrepreneurs you might ever hope to meet. And there's a connection between Cobra Beer and Mysore. So I want to tell you about how this business got underway over the last 15 or so years. So having done his uh, academic qualifications, he decided actually, you know what, he wants to go and start a company. The reason for that was in his student life, as he was eating Indian food in Indian restaurants, the beer in UK are two types. There's one which is called a lager, which is like here in, the, in India you get kingfisher and so on, right? So there's lager, that's always very extremely gassy. There's a British beer called an ale, and ale is like a fat beer. Now, ale does not go with Indian food, which he discovered, but a lager does. The problem is the lager being gassy, and frankly speaking, Indian food being gassy, the two are a deadly combination, right? So he had to try and find a solution to that. Came to Mysore, to Mysore breweries, and as a result of that, the master brewer, who had been trained, I believe, in Czechoslovakia as a master brewing, developed the formula for a less gassy, extra smooth lager, which became the basis of what became Cobra beer. He then took uh, that particular um, approach, shipping beer from Mysore to the UK in bottles, which had nice kind of uh, iconic uh, graphics on it. And when they got it to the UK, his marketing plan was to start with the Indian restaurants because that's where he had experienced the whole thing. And the owners of the restaurants in the UK, Indian restaurants, happened to be Silheti Bangladeshi Muslim population who are uh, total, they don't drink beer. So they said, okay, uh, never mind. He says, thinking quickly on his feet, why don't I leave you two bottles, give it to your customers. If your customers like it, they'll reorder it. So that's fine. So that's what he did. So he identified there were some 7,000 restaurants, Indian restaurants, right across, they call it Indian, right across the UK. So that's my market segment. You heard about focus in management, right? So he focused on that market segment and penetrated that to a very high degree. And gradually moved out from that, repackaged it. The link with Mysore breweries had to be broken because by the time the shipments used to come from Mysore to UK, uh, bottles would break, uh, the lager quality would deteriorate in, in transit and so on. So then he got a license agreement for the flavor to do it in Bedfordshire, brewed in India because it's then authentic. So he did some market research with consumers and said, does it make a difference to you where the beer is brewed? And I said, actually, no, we just like the lager extra smooth to go with Indian food. That's all there is to it. So that's how we got going. So they moved the brewing to the UK. Now it's in a few other places as well. It's subsequently been acquired by the SAB, the huge South African breweries. And now the, the marketing is taking place. It's available in the supermarkets of the UK. Very imaginative. He created a character called Dave, D-A-V-E, which is an English character who fancies Indian food typically on a Friday night, right? So Dave is a guy who likes his uh, uh, curry spicy. They call it curry, everything's called curry in the UK. They like the curry spicy and they like to down several glasses of lager, get a little bit drunk and then go out for the night to some uh, party or other. Um, so Dave is the character that he could conceptualize and showed Dave enjoying a glass of lager. So he broke through from that niche market to his user segment to say, you're the people I'm after to come and drink my beer at these Indian restaurants. So the messaging was clear from that. In terms of finance, how did he finance his business? Because he had no money really of his own. He was a student, he just graduated. His charisma, his character was such that he managed to raise money from the very people from whom he was also buying. So the owners of Mysore breweries lent him the money to pay for the work that had to be done here to ship it there. Then of course, once he started collecting the money from the Indian restaurants, then his cash flow started. So initially he was like a middleman, but then he started to license the production to the brewery. So the brewery took the production cost. He still was remaining with the marketing costs and he grew his business on that basis. So he had a clear idea and in order to convert it, he needed people who could actually turn the product. He had to do shipping, he had to do market research, he had to finance it, he had to build a team around himself that could actually execute. And eventually he recognized to really genuinely scale up, he has to actually sell his business to a big company.